Today we're taking a look at the Atlanta Hawks vs. Milwaukee Bucks match, which is happening on Friday, Thursday, April 15, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. The Milwaukee Bucks, fresh off two dominating wins against bottom feeders Minnesota Timberwolves and Orlando Magic, now travel to face the Atlanta Hawks in the last game of a three-game road trip. The fourth-place Hawks have been soaring as of late, winning and covering seven of their last eight games. Three of those wins came without their star, Trey Young. Nate McMillan has this young squad playing excellent basketball and I see them coming to play to gain some traction on the third place Bucks. The Bucks won their first matchup back on January 24th with a final score of 129 to 115, but the Hawks were without Young. Both teams best player, Giannis Antetokounmpo and Young, are both listed as questionable for Thursday's game. The Milwaukee Bucks have struggled without their star Giannis Antetokounmpo. Meanwhile, their opponent Thursday, the Atlanta Hawks, are surging. The Bucks are third in the Eastern Conference at 34-20 while the Hawks are right behind at 30-25. The Bucks beat the Hawks 129-115 back on January 24 in Milwaukee, so here is my first betting suggestion for that game. The Atlanta Hawks have been soaring in recent weeks, breaking out of the pack in the Eastern Conference, they have won seven of their last eight including two games without Trey Young. Young is questionable for Thursday's game but if he plays, I like the Hawks here to cover. The Hawks are home, where they have been 8-1 to one in their last nine games against the spread. The Bucks have struggled without Giannis Antetokounmpo, not so much on the offensive end as they have plenty of firepower, but more so defensively and on the boards. I don't think the talent gap between these two teams is as wide as the current line indicates. While there are still question marks on Young and Gallinari's availability, I would make sure you have notifications turned on to at Fantasy Lapsamba on Twitter to make sure you are up to date with their statuses. If they are in, a six-point spread is way too many points to be giving the talented Hawks. With all other situational factors considered such as the Bucks' second game of back-to-back, long road trip and their struggles on the road. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Atlanta plus 7.5. Since Giannis Antetokounmpo went on the shelf just over a week ago with knee soreness, the Bucks have gone 2-3. to three. They won their first game without their two-time MVP and then lost their next three. On Tuesday, the Bucks snapped that three-game losing streak with a 124-87 beatdown of Orlando. The Bucks shot 49% from the floor and held Orlando to 37% shooting. Even worse, the Bucks are only 11 to 17 ATS, 39.2% in away games this season, for the Sports Data Query Language database. To dig even further, they are 2 to 9 ATS, 18.2% on a road trip in their third consecutive away game this season. They do not perform up to expectations on the road, especially on a long road trip. Antetokounmpo has missed five straight games and is currently listed as questionable so make sure you keep an eye out for his status using our Bet Labs Insider tool. One matchup I believe the Bucks could have an interesting advantage to exploit is Brook Lopez against the talented Hawks center Clint Capella. While Capella is a great interior defender and rebounder, Lopez loves to camp outside the three-point line on offense, and it will be interesting to see how the Hawks combat that strategy. Fortunately, the Hawks do pretty well at defending against the three-pointer as they are fourth in the league in opponents' three-point percentage. The Bucks are sixth in the league in fast-break points since the All-Star break, per NBA advanced stats. Their run-and-gun style and up-tempo play creates a lot of fast-break opportunities, but the Hawks are seventh at opponent's fast break points. The Hawks do not turn the ball over much and play at a slower place, which allows less fast break opportunities and limits one of the Bucks' strengths. The Bucks drain 19 three-pointers in the game, led by Bobby Portis of all people, who had 16 points on four three-pointers along with 10 rebounds. Chris Middleton had 21 points and eight rebounds while Bryn Forbes had 13 points. 
Drew Holiday added 12 points. The Bucks hammered the Magic on the boards 56 to 37. Milwaukee followed that up with an easy 130 to 105 win over the Timberwolves on Wednesday. Middleton led the Bucks with 27 points while Brooke Lopez added 18 points. The win improved their record to 34 to 20. The Atlanta Hawks might be the hottest team in the NBA, winning three straight and seven of their last eight games. And they have done much of it without their star guard, Trey Young, who has missed the last two games with a calf injury. The winning streak has improved the Hawks' record to 30-25, which is fourth in the Eastern Conference. They are a game ahead of the resurgent Boston Celtics. Since the All-Star break, the Hawks are fifth in offensive rating, 116.6, and seventh in net rating, 5.1, per NBA Advanced Stats. They are incredibly efficient at offense, ranking 4th in effective field goal percentage, 56.6%, and 4th in assist to turnover ratio, 2.06. They should continue to keep the momentum going against a Bucks defense that is only ranked 17 in defensive rating in the last 5 games. Capella has been a beast this season, averaging 15.4 ppg. 14.2 RPG and 2.2 BPG. He leads the team in win shares 6.4 per basketball reference and has proven himself to be the most valuable and irreplaceable players on the team. Thanks to his dominance on the boards, the Hawks are ranked 9th in second chance points since the All-Star break, while the Bucks are 25th in opponent second chance points in the same time frame. I expect the talented tandem of Capella and Young should keep this game within arm's reach. The Hawks have been performing incredibly well at home as they've covered eight of their last nine games at home, dating back to February 21, 2021. I see them continuing their home dominance against the road-weary Bucks. The Hawks are coming off a 108-103 win over the Toronto Raptors on Tuesday. The Hawks won not only without Trey Young, but also without their second-best player John Collins, who tweaked his ankle and is out until mid-April. But Bogdan Bogdanovich stepped up with 23 points while Clint Capella had a monster game with 19 points and 21 rebounds. Although, Brandon Goodwin added 18 points. So here is my second betting suggestion for that game. The Bucks are 4-10 ATS in their last 14 road games, 2-5 ATS in their last 7 games against a team with a winning record and 1-4 ATS in their last 5 games overall. The Hawks are 8-1 ATS in their last 9 home games, 1-4 ATS in their last 5 games against a team with a winning record and 7-1 ATS in their last 8 games overall. Head to head, the over is 5-1 in the last 6 meetings in Atlanta and the Bucks are 5-11 ATS in the last 16 meetings overall. The Atlanta Hawks look for a win after winning 7 of their last 8 games. The Atlanta Hawks are averaging 113.3 points on 46.4% shooting and allowing 111.2 points on 46.1% shooting. Trey Young is averaging 25.4 points and 4 rebounds while John Collins is averaging 18.2 points and 7.8 rebounds. DeAndre Hunter is the third double-digit scorer and Clint Capella is grabbing 14.2 rebounds. The Atlanta Hawks are shooting 37.3% from beyond the arc and 81.1% from the free throw line. The Atlanta Hawks are allowing 34.7% shooting from deep and are grabbing 45.2 rebounds per game. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over. And now here are some stats and trends. Bucks are 1-5 ATS in their last 6 Thursday games. Hawks are 6-0 ATS in their last 6 games playing on one day's rest. Hawks are 8-1 ATS in their last 9 home games. Hawks are 7-1 ATS in their last 8 games overall. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.